Let's take a look at what's making headlines in your neighborhood and beyond. A Hillsdale County girl has been charged with making a threat of terrorism based on comments made at Jonesville High School. Jonesville Department of Public Safety Chief Kurt Etter said the incident started during an interaction between the suspect and other students on Monday of last week. Police say the girl made additional violent threats the following day and was later taken into custody. Jonesville Community School Superintendent Heather Weatherwax contacted Etter on Friday. Police say there are no current threats to any other students. Nobody has made any comments of that type of nature besides the student that was arrested. So we feel very confident the school has done an excellent job in preparing for this kind of activity. Thankfully, we didn't have the violence that Oxford had seen, but due to the, everything I've learned during my investigation, we could have encountered that same type of violence. Thankfully, the students spoke up. A placement hearing for the student was held Monday. She's being held at a youth home in Hillsdale County. Oxford High School superintendent is addressing the reopening plan after four students were shot and killed in a mass shooting last week. The Oxford Community School District has been closed since Tuesday's shooting. In a letter to the community Sunday, the superintendent said administrators have a plan to reopen. It includes a soft opening with the presence of law enforcement and trained counselors. The superintendent said the reopening will be slow and gradual to support the emotional health of students. The district's elementary schools will return Friday for a half day and will fully open next Monday. Suspect Ethan Crumbly has pled not guilty to murder charges. His parents are now in custody and pled not guilty to involuntary manslaughter charges. The company that owns the Meridian Mall in Okemos is now out of bankruptcy. It is looking to repurpose parts of the property as shoppers' habits change. So we are looking to add other uses like dining, um, entertainment. We're looking at hospitality, so hotels and multifamily in some markets. Um, but it's really too soon to say exactly what's in store for Meridian. Right now, the Meridian Mall has about 125 stores. For other stories impacting your neighborhood, you can visit our website, fox47news.com. You can also download the Fox 47 News app.